What happened here? Should we play a game? We're going to be continuing a little odyssey into Obscure this morning. So last time we got lost in a classroom for probably a good 15 minutes before I finally found my way out of it. Thank you, Breakable Glass Door. Um, and then we ventured out into the classroom building because we started out in the administration building and then got chased out by a big scary monster. Um, the only thing holding the stuff back was the, um, the light of the broken vending machines. So, welcome back. Okay, so we've got Stanley. Yeah, we found him in the, um, in the classroom building. Uh, he just seemed to be vibing. He didn't really seem particularly bothered that the place was being taken over. So a quick look at the map here. Um, so yeah, so we're currently in this hall here. So if I... Yeah, we're at the classroom in the bottom of the corner. That's where we're kind of headed. Oh, I've just realised I haven't actually given Stan any kind of weapon. I should probably take the weapon off. It was Shannon, wasn't it? Who? Okay, I'm right behind you. Yeah. Okay, I'll just take Shannon. I mean, one of the things is the game seems to have stats for each character. So, at the bottom of the character screen here, you can see there's a little bit of a description. Yeah. So you can. Stan is really fast at picking locks, which um, is actually a thing in this because um, you have to stand there vulnerable while you pick the lock. And I guess if he's if he's faster, it means you know, it's less likely to get grabbed while you're doing it. Um, so it looks like I would guess that means that um, Ashley's um, you know, it takes less damage in the event of an attack. Um, okay, so she's. A healer, maybe? So, something I'm not clear on with this is whether this game has... Oh, okay. I can see our, our pictures are all kind of bloodied up. I wonder if that means that we've taken damage. Okay, I think that I think that's how you tell if you're taking damage. That says plus 25 recovery, so I'm guessing that means that you get 25% more out of an energy drink than you would anyone else. Um... And then this guy's... I guess he might be an all-rounder, given that description. Yeah, what... On the one hand, you could see this kind of approach, you know, this kind of like, you know... I'm not going to call it sort of softly, softly, but kind of like, um... Not being too explicit. You can see it's being quite annoying, but honestly... For a horror game, like, not always giving you all the information is actually quite an important sort of design feature. Oh no! <laughs> I need a plan before I go back in there. Right. Um, can I see the map for that region? Yes, I can. So, yeah, we've established those two are locked, and there's an upstairs, and I seem to remember that we need the key. So, there's one door we haven't tried all the way down the end, but we've got to get past the monster to get to there. So, um... Friedman's office is located in the west part of the school. Thank you. <laughs> so, let's try one of these. Huh. <sighs> Yep, let's confirm the theory that indeed we've been able to uh, recover health by, um, and, and the blood on the um, portraits indicates that we've you know, taken damage. So let's sort out Shannon next. So I believe it's, there you go, yeah, change, change to Shannon. And then we can use the energy uh, drink. That feels great. Okay. Friedman's office is located in the west part of the school. So, let's leg it, and see if we can get past this. Okay, so yeah, you can just run straight past them. Okay. Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> Probably not a good idea to fight these things, but they are small, so who knows. Oh! Actually busting the windows, that's a good call. Yeah, because they're, they're reacting to light, so... Okay, I didn't think those windows were bustable, but I'm glad they are. The modifilia comes in the form of ciphers. Classification appears difficult, as endemic plant allows microscopic buds to appear, which do not appear when distant to form a new plant, but to possibly generate other leaves. Parasites and spider-like appearances claim the ability. Uh, so, uh, a st 
stupefying germinative, germinative power. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Wow, this is this is a long file. Huh? <laughs> Someone's showing off their biology degree here. <laughs> or making stuff up, who knows. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a disc. Yeah, this game does have limited saves, but it seems to be handing them out like candy right now. Use acid carefully. Okay. Lots of physics objects in this game. Um, oh, oh, we can push the TVs and casters and push it around. Whee! <laughs> okay. Anything else in here? Have a look at that. Um, I think uh, I seem to remember we were looking for a key for the upstairs. I don't see anything else in this. This game is pretty good at making items kind of blink or flash when they're um, interactive. Hmm. So it looks like this room is basically just a save disc. It's not the end of the world. Okay, let's see what's going on for here. Is there anything around here? Mm, doesn't look like it. And then I'm just gonna go for this door to reset the room. I'm going to go up that staircase, so I need to go down two doors on the left and then just to see if I can, um, well just to see what was at the top of it because I don't remember exactly. Okay, go, oh, oh, oh no, debris, ah, ooh, oh, I kind of judged this part, didn't I, ow, ow, is this it? Yeah, I think this was the staircase, yeah, there it is. Oh, you're... You're looking pale. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that, that did a lot of damage. Um, completely rusty chain blocking the door. How do I speed up the process? I mean, I mean, are we talking for uh, oxygen, water? Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that's holding this reality. Um, how would I get? Let's have a look at my inventory. Paper cups. Okay, I need to go get some water and... Oh, uh, okay. I get your game. I get you. I get what you're going for. There was a door on the left here, wasn't there? And I seem to remember there was a paper cup. Uh, sorry, a, a, drinking, a drinks fountain in here. I took three paper cups. That should be enough. Let's see what's in here. It's useless. I took three paper oh. cups. That should be enough. Actually, maybe we need to head to the bathroom. Uh, I'm just going to heal Shannon. She's not looking so good. Uh, or I would if I hadn't basically wasted all of the energy drinks. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look on the map here. So I seem to remember there was a bathroom. So skip the next door on the left. And actually, actually, it was on the left of this room. I remember seeing it on the way in. I don't know what I'm talking about. Shannon. Ah! Here it is. Well, I hope she's okay. Here it is. You can't even see in front of your face here. So it sounds like I need more light. It's useless. Hmm. Maybe I can fill them in the toilet? <laughs> okay, maybe there's uh, another bathroom on the other side of the, the, side of the stairwell. Oh! 
Or I could just walk straight into here. Okay, more sticky tape. So, oh, another save disk. It's kind of weird that this is, you know, like a, a transition, given I didn't go through a door. Like, yeah, in, in your head you'd be like, oh, well, it's kind of silly that a door could hold that thing back, given it busts through a wall. But it's not completely unreasonable. Whereas, like, yeah, if you're, you know, <laughs> going through a hole in the wall it made getting into this room, it's like, that probably shouldn't stop monsters coming through. So, is there anything else in here? Anything at all? Okay, it seems like this is a bit of a dead end. So let's have a look on the map again. So, yeah, we're currently in this room. Oh, that's quite nice. It, oh, oh, it's actually marked where um, Shannon um, fell on the floor. Um, we've got a boys' bathroom and. It's a door I haven't tried there. I guess it's right next to where the monster tends to spawn. That's probably why I didn't try it. Oh. One more door then, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, one, one more door. Okay, yeah, this one. It's right in the middle of all the mess. That's probably why I didn't see it. Oh, okay. Oh! God, this is getting serious now. This, this would have made all this a lot easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. And also got some ammo. Probably, you know, not go to the question why this was in school. And this game does shell casings. That probably doesn't come through on the stream because it's so small. But again, like, always a detail, even like um, PlayStation 1 generation games put in was the um, shell casings. Oh, actually, another really nice touch in this room. Bear in mind, this is an old game. Look at the shadows on the pipes and the light swings. That is a nice touch. Like that is presumably just you know like a polygon with like some transparent stuff on it, being with some vertices stretching up and down, maybe a bland shape or some bones or something. But that is a beautiful effect. That is that is really nicely done. Kudos, to, uh, yeah, kudos team. Um, so let's sticky tape tape the lamp to the pistol. There we go. Yeah, and we can now just like before we can use the Right stick to... Yeah, okay, yeah. This should give us some options for dealing with that monster out there. But of course, I've actually burned for a lot of resources just not knowing that cupboard was there. Okay. So now we have a light, and I'm just going to reset the room. I'm curious to know how, like, this, you know, what happens with um, someone who fell? Do I have to go back in and, I mean, are they, are they perma-dead? You're finally back. You know I almost missed you. I can't believe this. Oh! This game has perma-death? Does it? it oh! I, oh! Oh, okay. I was not expecting permadeath in a game like this, to be honest. I mean, normally that kind of... I, I guess it's a modern thing that things like that are usually kept for, you know, like... Oh! She's just gone! Damn, I should probably reload from a save. I probably really screwed myself over there. Okay. So, okay, let's, move. let's be a bit more careful this time around. Let's be a bit smarter about this now that we know what's coming. <sighs> and you can have the other uh, room to drink. That feels great. Get out of here, Stan. <laughs> okay, so now we know what to do. We need to go straight into that room, grab the pistol, and um, use the light in the bathroom to fill up a paper cup and then pour it on the chain to get through. 
pig. Not that water would, you know, rust something that quickly, but... Okay, so the next one along. Wait, it's locked? Oh, it's that one. Right, it's the one right next to where the monster spawns, so that's probably how I didn't see it the first few times. Okay, so... Um... Is that one? Uh, I seem to remember you can do that and you can... They give... Okay. There you go. A gun! This is getting serious now. And the game will not let you do anything until you've... The game forces you to waste a bullet, that's kind of interesting. Let's do what we did before, let's tape a lamp to our gun. Indeed, we can overdrive it and you can kind of point it around. Okay, let's give it a moment to cool off. So, and then we're looking to go immediately next door to this, to the bathroom. But the monster will probably be outside as soon as we go outside. So, let's just check our health, how's it looking? I've taken some damage, but not a huge amount. Okay, so we're outside. Straight in here. Let's see if we can... Now we've got some light. You can't even see in front of your face here. First aid kit. Hmm. Yeah, so coming back in here with a torch is definitely a good idea, even if... Uh, even if this turns out not to be the solution, that's definitely a big, big deal. It's useless. That's kind of weird. Why would I not be able to fill the paper cup in here? Hmm. Okay, so let's let's go collect the things at the other end of the corridor again. Now, now that we're armed. Oh. More sticky tape. Oh, I've just thought we could actually bust these windows, couldn't we? Um, no, not these windows. <laughs> these windows in particular are unbustable. Okay, so let's switch back to our pistol. Flashlight on it. Actually, we're going to want our baseball bat because we're going to be busting some windows in the next place we go to. And we're going to beeline straight for those windows and smash them in. There we go. How did we do for health? So we, we did take damage, unfortunately. Okay, no monsters remaining. We've got the, the extremely wordy note about biology. Save disc. Did we pick up um, an energy drink before? Yeah, last time we were kind of exploring this area. So, I guess we could use these things. What was that noise? Just, just dude, just, just fill the cup. It's useless. Bottles of acid. Oh, H two S O four sulfuric acid. I better be careful not to burn myself. That does make more sense. Quick, the cup is disappearing. Oh, okay. So we're on a timer to go use the item on on the chains. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Wait. Not a lot of time. Upstairs, 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 seven, six. I can, 
Well, that was close, wasn't it? It works. All right, how are we doing for health? I am not good, so I'm going to use that health kit. Wow, I'm ready to rock. Right, I'm going to ask her to right. I won't budge. stay here on the basis that she's not in a good way, and you're leaving me all alone. Yep. Bye. What the hell's going on here? Hey, dude. What's up, then? That was a good jump scare. There's something else to do here. Yeah. I'm not good at the combat in this yet. <laughs> Game seems to give you a lot of save discs, like a lot of them. Make sure he comes quick. Thanks. Today at 6 50 p.m. Herbert? If, if you're there, pick up the phone. Please. Come quickly. I, I I don't know what's going on, but I think it has something to do with the experiments. I saw several students who well they it's really bad. Come quick. Oh no! Okay, so it sounds like he might have gone to the infirmary. Mr. Friedman? Are you there? I was in the library. Got some interesting looking UVs on the table. Oh, okay. Two empty spaces on this map. Okay. There's something there, I've seen glistening a few times. Okay, that's one of the things that goes in the base of the map. I'll head that way. Anything over here? Okay, so that's one. So we're just looking for the other one there. I'm assuming the other one's going to be somewhere else on this floor. How are we doing for ammo? They're actually doing okay. Like, um... I'm guessing this isn't a game where you're supposed to just avoid all the enemies, like, completely, because it, it's actually quite hard to see them. Let's just see if I can turn the brightness up a little bit. Oh. Well. <laughs> game doesn't have a brightness adjustment, it just tells you to get good. Oh, I can see something actually above that cabinet. That looks like maybe a door or something in the wall? What's that all about? Hmm. Okay, so let's have a look at the map, see if we can figure out where we're going next. So we're in here. Okay, so we can take a... I'm guessing we can unblock that doorway over on the right to get an easier access to the second floor without having to go through the... without having to go through the... past the monster on the, on the first floor. And... I'm going to see what's in this room to the side of us. Okay. Uh, this might be a good time to take a save. We seem to have a lot of these save discs. Okay, it's recorded.
You can also, I mean, like, obviously... Ow! Okay, that's actually kind of neat, the fact you have to lead them into the light. It's not just a matter of just busting all the windows in the room, you actually have to guide them into the light. That explains why they took so long to kind of um, disintegrate earlier in the game when I was in the downstairs. This one is not bustable, so... Yeah, okay. So only some areas of this room are effectively safe at this point. Okay, anything in here at all? Rub your face on everything, mash the interaction button. You can see coordinates on it. Longitude 330, 20. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing I have to use the compass. I have to put the other compass in and set 330, 20. Okay. Okay, let's keep exploring in here. So we are... Okay, so we're here. So we'll pass the stairwell, see if we can get through into the next room. That's the door I want to try, isn't it? Okay. Oh, wait, is this a stairwell again? Oh, hi, Shannon. <laughs> it is. You're leaving me all alone? Yep. Don't sweat it, babe. <laughs> oh, it's locked. Okay, that one's locked. And... So we are here. You remember, I actually have more... This lock looks easy. I have more visibility in this game than a typical player would because I'm playing it for widescreen patch. Oh, they're getting close. Oh. Oh, dear. Right. Ah. Okay, I'm probably going to die trying, trying to force this door. But I could come back with Stan and use him to open the door. I'm guessing the noise of doing this attracts them. Preemptively break all the windows. So if an encounter happens in here, which it probably will, I'm going to guess it happens as soon as I go for that item in the back there. Oh, an energy drink. Oh. Oh, that wasn't a full heal though, that was only a partial heal. I must have taken a lot of damage when I got jumped on locking that door. Hmm. So I need to bring Shannon in here. But I've unlocked the door now, so I should be free to do that. Um, equip our guns, we've got the light. How do I reload? X, but is it X or is it Y? It is actually X. So it's the thing of like, you're playing a game that's built for 360 controllers with Joy-Cons, but then Switch is, um, Steam is doing remapping, it's like, I don't know which button it is. Okay, let's see what's in the next room. If Shannon were here, she'd tell me what to do. Okay, let's see what's in here. Prioritize breaking the windows, because I can't afford to take much damage right now. Okay, 
What is that in the corner of the whiteboard? Oh, it's just a bit of texture. Or it might be an item we could use. Hmm, it's Professor Warden Satchel. But what was he doing with all that stuff? Hey, nice. Ow, ow, ow. And this corner. Let them all get close. Oh. <laughs> that looked a bit silly, to be honest. I probably shouldn't have put a desk in the corner, so there was a... It didn't look like they were just tiptoeing into the light and exploding. Okay, I feel like I'm starting to get a feeling for how this game kind of wants to work. Oh, actually, you know what? That's actually really nice. Um, that, that, that camera, the way it's swinging around, actually works really nicely because it, you know, it solves the whole problem of the, um, you know, the... <laughs> it solves the whole problem of the sudden camera angle changes causing the controls to mess up a little bit. I wonder why we didn't see that in much of the rest of the game. Anyway, let's go explore that last door at the end and see if we can get out of this, um, out of this hallway back into the main chamber. Oh, okay. So there was a stairwell down in here, I remember seeing it. I'm going to swap out to another character who's taken a bit less damage. Library, ah, oh, here we go, stairwell. See, look, when there's a camera transition like that, it causes the controls to mess up a bit because, you know, up changes direction entirely. Um, but that doesn't really pose a problem in something like a... You guys sure took your time. What do we do now? Okay, I'll go with you. Right, what's I gonna do? I just need someone to lift me up. Actually, I'm gonna take you because you're I'm right behind you. You're defensive. Do I have a weapon I can give her? Not really. I kind of gave them both to. Um, <laughs> kind of gave them to Shannon. Okay. Head back inside and get whatever that is out of that pipe and then see if we can head back around to put the other compass um, in the map. This door over here, wasn't it? Yeah. And given the game is basically showering me in save discs, I'm going to use one. Okay, it's recorded. Um, I'm going to give you the baseball bat. Just so you're not completely defenseless. <laughs> I'm not that much of an asshole, I think. Wasn't the first one. Holy shit! There it is. Yo, give me a boost. Oh, oh, it's ammo. Okay. Well, I'm not going to turn down free ammo. Let's go see Mr. Freeman. Well, let's go to his office and if it's 23 friends. 23.30, wasn't it? Okay. I think his was the office all the way down the end, is that right? Oh, there it is. That wasn't the one all the way down the end. Oh, I wonder what that was then. It's just a, you know, an oboe or something. Compass needle, fuse. So it was 20. How do I know what number this is? Let's go in increments of Okay, so that would be That'd be two seventy. Let's see how many how many increments it takes to get to get ninety degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So, 95 by 80s, I'm pretty sure that's kind of irrational, right? Um, that should be 315. That's probably that. Until between that. Or maybe I need to point them at 20 by 330, like that. No? Hmm. Maybe they actually be easier to do it around, like this. I'd just make a monster angry by not quite understanding the puzzles, if I. <laughs> So it was 20 by 3. Minus 20, I should want 20 only, so. Hmm. Right? Oh no, we're going to have another one of those moments where. <laughs> we're going to have another glass door moment. <laughs> Next door, wasn't it? So I can just go check. It was definitely 20 by 30, 330. I seem to remember that quite clearly. Oh, there we go. Breaking everything. Yep. Yep. Oh, free. F oh, it's free friend. Blah, 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 blah. 3.30.20. Okay, got it. 3.30.20. 3.30.20. Oh, but it can't have been the other way around because, uh, of course, um, latitude only goes from, I think, 90 to minus 90. Yeah, but it was definitely a 3.30 and a 20. Okay. It's not a matter of. Oh, you just point them at the. It works. You just point them at free friend. <laughs> trying to enter it. You just point the. Okay, my dear Herbert, I'm writing to you in secret. Leonard would leave me if he knew I was meddling in his work. We're a twin brother, and sometimes it seems to me you understand better than I. I'll let you speak to him. Well, last night he's completely obsessed with research, and I fear he will go too far. He used to want to experiment himself. I'm certain you know him. He is capable of it. Don't be foolish. That's a three weeks. Okay, a video cassette. Um. Friedman's in the library. Let's go. Oh! Yo, would. Old pistol go in the light? So if I give you that. Be honest if we could put the lights on. I wonder if you could put the lights on the baseball bats. That would have been pretty cool. Okay, so the library is all the way over there. I'm guessing someone's going to jump us as we come out of here because that's just the way this game seems to work. Yeah, 
Yeah, so Shannon has actually returned to the um, safe area, as it were. Okay, okay. Getting a feel for this, getting a bit more kind of comfortable with how this game works. Keep moving. Yeah, one thing is, I'm not quite sure the whole sort of, you know, ignore the enemies thing works super well when there's AI involved, because obviously the AI doesn't know what you plan to do, and if you're sort of like trying to hug a wall to bury them around, it doesn't quite work as well as, say, Resident Evil did. That's ominous. Why are we walking slowly? Come on, faster, vamanos, vamanos. It's this new Dora the Explorer game is weird, huh? <laughs> so we have a tape. Um, okay, it's recorded. I've seen quite a few um, TVs, but none of them really looks in working condition. Oh, it only works on the ground floor. Okay. Well, there's a stairwell back here, wasn't there? Yeah, there's. Oh, we're getting some real shaky cam there. I should get the items back off Shannon because she had a really good baseball bat. I should probably switch to a character. Where were you guys? You had me worried. Okay, let's move. Okay, can I take the item off her? Okay, and then I can switch back. Okay, I'm with you. Okay. Give them all the weapons. Push to them, and there stands our I'm leader. Right behind you. And we both got flashlights. We're all good to go. I wish I hadn't saved because. Now all that, all that, you know, that 15 seconds of admin. <laughs> I'm guessing the left inventory, yeah, the left inventory shared. Okay, that's neat. Right, what could be, yeah, what could be haunting us in the library? It's just a nice quiet place for the books, right? Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, something that kind of threw me about the um, about the kind of zombie guys is um, the guy we rescued right at the start of the game. There are more locks in the corner. Um, I'm just going for the door just to reset the the gunge. Um, kind of looked like that, but he wasn't evil, and it's kind of throwing me a little bit. See what's in here. Now, the game is teaching me to go bust up windows. I'm expecting this. Oh, well, I expected it to subvert that in some way, but that was not how I expected it to be subverted. Congratulations on subverting my expectations even when I expect them to be subverted. That's actually quite. <laughs> no locks left. It is quite a feat. Oh, do they share an ammo pool? That's kind of interesting. It is quite a feat to subvert my expectations when I'm expecting them to be subverted. Yes, yeah, so we've got another save disc. <laughs> Love the fact these run casters and they work. That's great. Hmm. Last call is marks. I wonder if the um, different protagonists have different uh, voice lines. Oh, really nice touch here, really subtle. The f legs on the table, their shadows react to the nearest light source. 
That is some serious attention to detail, because I'm pretty sure this game doesn't like use a global shadow mapping solution or something like that. It's way too old for that kind of, yeah, that kind of tech. We don't have a map for this area yet, so let's keep exploring. Let's see what's next door, shall we? Oh, we're doing the head turn. Later. <laughs> Okay, that could have gotten worse. I was kind of expecting like an overhead projector puzzle where you have to use like the light from it to... I wonder if it's only artificial, you know, if it's only natural light, maybe you know, with a UV component, or whether it's... Um, or whether artificial light... I, I guess it must count because our torches are working and our torches are almost certainly not emitting a lot of UV. Okay, oh, so we've... yeah, we can... we can put some kind of overhead on this and see it projected. Okay, what's that there? Is that, is that a collectible? Or is it, oh, it's just glinting in the sun in the torchlight. Okay, so there is some kind of monster out here. Do we have any kind of anything we can use to heal? No, she's taking a lot of damage. Let's go. Yeah, on the one hand, I feel like they. What is this thing? Oh. Ah, such as an overhead projector. How convenient we have one of those. Hmm. Yeah, like I was going to say, um, it feels like in a game where you have AI companions who um, um, are very difficult to keep in good condition, you know, because they, they don't have the smarts that you might to duck around an enemy. Um, having such limited health isn't quite a stellar combination. I feel like there might be another way of healing I'm just not aware of. Oh, okay. I'm guessing this is the code that's... How do I get out of this? Oh, there we go. I'm guessing the code is on that paper. We need to put it for the projector to see it. So... Let's see if this other door on the right here is... Ow, ow, ow! I was thinking I need to use the flashlight to kind of you know, push the enemies back, but it didn't really seem to do that much. Two, four, three, two. Okay. Three, four, three, two. That does it. What we got in here? I'm running you to a friend that I've just come out of the Seattle conference where your book Eternal Life is Possible had an explosive effect. Your discoveries totally contradict the theories of Dr. Leon Gusenberg, and I expect an unfavorable reaction from the council. You have virulent detractors who feel that your research is immoral and cast a slur on the entire scientific community. I've analyzed the file, your theory certainly goes against the first law of medical ethics. You must not invent the support of a reputation, it will have no other destiny than sinking into oblivion. Unfortunately, I do not have sufficient weight to prevent that. You may find salvation outside the scientific community, you know. I fear that sanctions may even be taken against you and cannot advise you strongly enough to locate your work in a safe place. Okay, so did we just get a library key out of that? Yes, so we have a separate library key, I think. We have some Zeb fighting on this chest of drawers. 
I feel like there must be like some healing items or something I've just completely missed, right? Let's get a bit of practice with the torch, because like it feels like I should be using it, but Oh, did they just die? Oh. Couldn't see what was happening. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm just gonna load the save because like, that was that was rough. Ah, <laughs> uh, I've lost the admin. Okay. Head down. So, um, let's try that again, but this time I'm going to be a lot more aggressive when it comes to fighting the enemies. I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to see if, you know, jumping that guy from behind is maybe a better call. Okay, so... Okay, I'm with you. You're my teammate, and... I'm going to give you everything. And switch. And I'm right behind you. Get you with my teammate, and let's go. So we are, yes, so we want to go south and then east and north. Oh, look at that synchronized lens flares. It's from that era where every game had these really complex, like multi-component lens flares. Um, Sonic Adventure was probably the earliest one I saw that kind of thing in. Okay, let's be aggressive and just go in straight and see if we can, you know, get rid of that guy for returns. I feel like that might be the less influenced part of the game, is that, you know, attack. Oh, he didn't give me the baseball bat. Okay, um, violence definitely seems to be the answer. <laughs> so I'm just going to go back out and get a baseball bat because it's just useful for opening windows. <laughs> Which is it's quite a sentence if you think about it. Yeah, it, conserving your ammunition in this game definitely appears to be a bad call. It's just the combat is a bit too clunky and your AI is not smart enough to... Um... Oh, I need to talk to Shannon, she's probably... Okay, I'm right behind you. Okay, everything. Yo. Let's move. Yeah. Okay, I'm with you. I'm right behind you. There are no locks left. Okay, switch to... Has she got all the melee weapons? Where'd the baseball bat go? <laughs> Alright, I'll go with you. He hasn't got them. Let's move! He hasn't got them. Let's go. Let's move. But where did they go? Okay, let's move. Okay. Okay, I got your back. Oh, I've got it there. Okay. <laughs> I'm a bit confused by that, but okay. Yeah, it seems like the game is giving me a lot of ammo. There's really good auto aim, so it seems like a very rarely miss. It's mostly just a matter of good positioning so you don't get you don't get damaged and clearing areas quickly. You also send me to oh, bleh. Does this game have respawning monsters though? I doubt it, but if it does, that would actually make the ammo situation a little bit more rough. Go on here. Oh, we've got a working mirror. That's nice. I 
It's always this way in here, but I'm pretty sure there's blood on the floor, which, yeah. Ah, there we go. Need a screwdriver? Okay, yeah, we need a screwdriver or a crowbar or something. Let's check out the other bathroom. Um. Oh, best to leave, okay. That collects oh, I've got an energy drink, okay. That could be useful for topping up the health of our um, beleaguered friends back at the uh, safe area. Okay, we need a key to get into the library. We got one earlier from the... Um, yeah, I need to go get the paper. Right, let's go in here, break some windows. Get the scrap of paper. Put on the overhead projector, get the code. Because A, I can't remember it, and B, it might be randomized. I doubt it's randomized, it might be. Okay. Yo, what is this thing? Okay, we need a light source to read it. Nothing else in here, was there? It's a completely empty room. Of yeah, one of the things I will mention is they tend to only really put one thing in a room, which is, I guess it's good design because it means each room has a specific purpose. Door is locked. I got this. I can pick this thing. Okay, that's pickable. But we need, yeah, this guy's the fastest at picking because he's probably a good option for this. Especially if I've got someone guarding my back. <laughs> Okay, let's sort you out. Um, we're gonna need some energy drink. Let me just check how she's looking on here, yeah, cause I, oh yeah, she's not in a good way. I'm getting everyone killed, it's great. <laughs> uh. Man, if only life was that simple, you know, just sip an energy drink, you're good, you're fine, you're golden. You know, I took a kind of a rough route round to that. B432. B432. And I think there was a save disc in the room. 2432. We'll go to that first though. Yo, if Shannon were here, she'd know what to do. B432, two, two, two. That does it. Let me get a note about eternal life. Yeah. I'm guessing that's for the doorway that was past the uh, zombie that turned. So thinking about it, a gun actually, because you, you can use it to open the window from the inside of the room, they're actually quite effective for that as well. But this is the one where the zombie jumps through, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's completely nonplussed by that and just, no, oh, cool, a disc. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, hmm. I'm gonna equip a gun because I saw some saw some bad dudes out there. Let's also save. You got it, buddy. It's all been. Okay. It's gonna be for this door, isn't it? You're a smart guy, Stan. Oh no, can't break those.
Yeah, there's some pretty cool environments. Like the amount of like they're not just you know like a flat textured bookshelf. They've got like lots of books haphazardly placed. It feels very natural. Oh, Destiny Street strikes the Freeman family again. Well, definitely. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so one of them died in a tragic accident. Oh, was that a rat? Oh, save disc. Yeah, this game is very, very, very liberal with save discs. And ammo, just not with health items. Oh! Why are you still here? Why aren't you at home? The hallways are full of those things, and this time it's not here my fault. School grounds? Yeah, all over the place. If I were you, I'd do something fast. Kenny's disappeared. Walden probably what? called the cops. Or Walden is here. I was surprised to see Go him right here now myself. and see the janitor. He'll let you out. I'll tell him you're coming. And don't let me see you back until tomorrow morning. I'll take care but of everything. What about the? The best thing you can do for now is to get out of here. Uh oh. That's not good. The station is very strange, particularly the trees. Two more portals have disappeared, and we discovered the slash corpse in the Hmm. We go up the staircase. No, <laughs> that's like we wanted one of the things that looks cool, but oh man, yeah. Imagine doing the collision for something like that. Trying to make that of convexes. Uh, <laughs> or like, or you'd need a canned animation for it, which would probably take quite a while. To, you know, for something like that, it's quite a complex shape. I said you could probably do like a, a one-step animation, just repeat it, it'd probably look fine. It, we wouldn't even be able to tell it's repeating because it rotates, it would kind of like mask the fact that it's repeating. And there was a door that we didn't unlock, but we have the ability to. Um. Keep on the lookout. What is he aiming at? Oh, so we want to clear as much of this as way as possible, and then start to unlock the door. Oh, that was easy. I was expecting it to take a lot longer. I guess Stan really is really good at unlocking doors. Oh, no, we're taking damage. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, don't don't stand in the stuff that does damage. Thank you. No, no, come over here. Fine, I'll stay here. What? Why is she standing in the stuff that does damage? Get out of there! What are you doing? What are you doing? Gonna repeat that section and then save and then probably end stream there. Cash is in short supply. Stand the man.
Okay, we unlock the door. And we know there's very little in here. So let's just go through, skip the cutscene. Grab that disc. Mr. Freak, the school's been invaded. Still here? Why yeah, it would have been better to search that room during the daylight, huh? Let's get back out into the main area and save it. I'm going to guess this now means there's monsters outside and that area outside is probably safe around the lights, but probably not anywhere else. Keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving, it'll be fine. Oh, there was a map on the wall right there. Hang on. I should have grabbed that map, that would have been smart, wouldn't it? So something that I think would actually improve the game's controls a little bit is when you're using the torch, if that worked in screen space, like if it had like a pointer that you could just like point with the right analog stick, just so it was a bit clearer where you were pointing. Okay, there's, there's a lot of lights out here. Okay, so we're probably pretty safe out here. Meet back up with the gang. Yo, gang! No hugs? I mean, you did die in an alternate timeline, but... I mean, look on the bright side. It isn't this one. Let's save there. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll probably see you tomorrow.